Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by WordLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, I'm going to show you how to make drop down boxes in Microsoft Word, where you can click on a little box, drop it down, and pick from an option. Last week, I did a video on drop down boxes in Microsoft Access, which is most of what I teach, and then I showed how to do them in Excel. So I'd be remiss if I didn't also include Word. So today, we're going to make drop down boxes in Microsoft Word. And before I lose any of my Access students, quick spoiler, in the extended cut, I'm going to show you how to fill that box with data from an Access table, but that'll be later. Now, I'm going to call this an expert level video, which to me means a little bit more than the basics. You shouldn't have some good understanding of how to use Microsoft Word under your belt, but you don't need any VBA code or development stuff to do this. So I'm going to show you step by step how we're going to do this. Ready? Here we go. All right, first we'll start off with a blank Microsoft Word document. And let's say you want to give your users a document to pick from a list of customers or states or products or any, any kind of list of options, right? Or even for you yourself, if you have a document that you, you know, constantly use, you want to be able to just pick from a drop down, that's fine. Ready? So we're going to type in customer colon, and then we're going to insert a drop down box here. Now go to the developer tab. <laughs> You might be saying, wait a minute, I don't have a developer tab on my ribbon. That's okay, let me show you how to find it. It's off by default, but it's easy to turn on, right? Right click on any one of these tabs and go to customize the ribbon. It's gonna open up your Word options on the customize ribbon box here. Now on the right hand side, you're gonna see all the different tabs that are available. Developer is usually off. We're just gonna check that box on and then hit okay. That'll turn on this developer ribbon tab. Now, right here in the controls section, there's a bunch of different controls you can use, labels and images, all kinds of stuff. Right there is the one we're looking for. It's called Combo Box Content Control. Yes, it's called a Combo Box, just like in Microsoft Access. We call them Combo Boxes because it's a combination of a list box and a text box. But everybody looks for drop down when they're trying to find this. It's popularly called a drop down. So that's why I made the videos titled Drop Down because that's what people search for. So click on that and it's going to put a drop down box, a combo box right here. And it says choose an item. If you click the little box over here, it just says choose an item. So how do we put the list of items in there? Well, with most objects, when you right click on them, you get a properties option. But for some reason, Microsoft chose not to put it on here. So what you have to do is come back up to the developer tab and click on properties. That'll bring up the properties for this content control, right? These are called content controls and you can give it a title and a tag and a bunch of other stuff. So let's start with a good title. I'm gonna call mine customer combo. Now I'm not gonna put a space in there and my VBA developers know why. You don't put spaces in your field names or your control names, right? Tag is optional, you don't have to put that in there. Bounding box is what we have. There are some other options. We're not gonna go over them right now. I always use a bounding box. You can change the color if you want to, all right? Give it a light blue background or whatever. I like to put some shading over the box out here, which I'll show you in a minute. And there are some other options down here which aren't very important right now. The next thing we're gonna do is click on this add button over here to add a list of items. All right, so let's say we wanna add customers. All right, we got uh, uh, Kirk comma James, enter. And then if you press enter again, it hits the add button for you again. Oh, and I messed this one up. Look, I didn't type in James, I typed in Jame. So just double click on it or hit modify. Don't double click on it. <laughs> James, right, hit okay, hit add. And let's say we got uh, uh, McCoy, all right, Bones, come on, Bones, enter. And we got uh, Picard, Jean-Luc, all right, add as many as you want. You can move them up and down, all that stuff. Hit OK. And now, there you go. There's your list of customers to pick from. Now, when you click off of that box, you kind of lose all the formatting and you can't really see this here. So what I like to do is I like to select it and put a little like a, a highlight background on it. That way it, it kind of visually tells you and your users if you're sending this to other people that, hey, there's something there. They click on it and they see the box there, right? And if you are gonna send it to other people, you can drop this down and leave the default, choose an item, right? Now, save your document, control S. I'll call it customer uh, combo dot docx or whatever and now you can send it to other people and they can pick from the list okay pretty simple pretty straightforward now having that list in the word document that's eh, okay 
But wouldn't it be nice if you're an access person to be able to pull data from your access database to fill that document up? Let's say you got a quote form that you have in Word and every time you want to fill out the quote, you want it to pull in your customer list, you want to pull in your products, all that stuff. Well, I'm going to show how to do that in the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. There's lots of them. And of course, gold members can download all the documents and the databases that I make in my extended cuts. And everybody gets some free training. So if you're interested, click on the join button down below. But that is going to do it for your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you'd like to see me release more Microsoft Word videos, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and post a comment below saying you'd like more Word videos. Right now, about 90% of the videos that I make are from Microsoft Access Database Design. But I love Word, and I'm totally willing to make more Word videos, but I need to hear from you. The more people that comment, the more Word videos I'll make. In the meantime, if you'd like to learn more about Microsoft Word, come to my website at wordlearningzone.com and you can watch my full Microsoft Word beginner level one class absolutely free. It's over an hour long and it covers all the basics. And if you like level one, you can get level two, which is another full hour long course for just one dollar. Again, visit my website at wordlearningzone.com. Or you can click on the links down below the video. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and lots of other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available and the perks associated with each one. But don't worry, these tech help videos will keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making them, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like and share. Make sure you click on the subscribe button and choose all to get notified whenever I post any new videos. Make sure you click the show more button down below the video, below the description. You'll see lots of additional links and resources down there. If you have not yet tried my free Word Level 1 course, visit my website now, there's the link, and sign up. It's a free hour-long course on all the basics of Microsoft Word, and it's absolutely free. And if you like Level 1, you can sign up for Level 2 for just $1. That's another complete hour-long video for just a dollar. If you would like to see your question answered in a video just like this one, visit my Tech Help page, and you can post your question there.